Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LGJim007, and today we'll look at the Jailban plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to send naughty players to jail for whatever period of time you think they deserve, and hopefully they learn their lesson. So, I've created a little jail cell in front of me. You can see it doesn't look particularly pleasant. And I've also got a door with a lever so we can get inside and have a look. And the first thing we want to do is actually go in the jail cell to set the spawn of where the naughty player will be teleported. So if we do forward slash jail ban help, that's the main command. You can also use forward slash jail as well if you want. And all you need to do is forward slash jail set spawn. And that's going to set the jail room spawn point. So when the player gets jailed, they'll be spawned there and then they won't be able to break blocks or do commands or anything. They'll just be stuck in this awful little room. Now, if I were to try and jail myself by doing jail, add, LT gym, choose amount of time such as 10 seconds and the reason, test, it says you can't jail another ad. So because I'm the only one on this server, I'm going to deop myself and then use the console in order to jail me. So here we go, I've got the console up and if we do forward slash jail add, and then I'm going to put my username and then let's do it for 25 seconds and the reason is going to be and if we're happy with that we can hit enter and you can see I've been jailed for 25 seconds for that reason so as you can see I've been teleported to the jail spawn point I can't actually break any blocks I can't really do anything and all I have to do is wait for my time to end in the jail which is in a couple of seconds and then I will be teleported back outside where I was and it says you've been released because time has expired. So if for some reason you want to remove someone from a jail, if they don't deserve it anymore, you can do jail, remove someone's username and then the reason, oopsie. Um, but obviously I am not currently jailed so that's not going to work. And then you can also do jail reload if you've changed anything in the configuration. Now the last command that we can look at in game is the forward slash jail logger command. Now this is going to create a logger.yml and upload it. And then we have a link here which we can copy and paste into a search engine. So going to the link we copy and pasted, you can see it has a history of who's been jailed and then when they were unjailed. Obviously I've only done this a couple of times, but this would be a long, long list if you had a busy server with lots of naughty people on. So here we are in the plugins folder and if we jump into jailban you can see there's a few YML files. So players is empty, don't have to worry about that currently. We've got the messages, so this is just everything that's going to pop up in chat. We've got the logger.yml, so you can see there is also a physical copy in the plugins folder you can look at if you don't want to do the command. And then finally we've got the config.yml, so we've got the location of the jail room. Do you want to enable the logger, yes or no? How long should the logger keep stuff for? So seven days. And then while you're in jail you can't place destroy send messages or use any commands bypass commands while in jail if you want so log in register for example and then you want to prevent item usage as well and here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.21 and we've got loads of good information down here about how it works the permissions and the commands and then if you have any problems you can contact the developer on discord but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.